Hello, this is Rail Rider, and today we're reviewing an Amtrak Surfliner by MTH Rail King. For those who don't know what Surfliner is, it's a passenger train between Los Angeles and San Diego owned by Amtrak. There is something about Amtrak that makes it different from all the other railroads in this world. You want to know what makes Amtrak different from all the other railways in the world? It's the fact that they are owned by a bunch of jerks who don't care anything about the passengers and only care about their money. Another thing I would like to mention about Amtrak is that their trains suck. Riding on it sucks. The food suck. The delays suck. Their employees should get a real job. Don't take Amtrak. I know this is an odd thing to hear from a rail fan, but this right here, if this is not a big punch in the face for a rail fan, I don't know what is. So the engine it's being pulled by is an F-59 diesel. Amtrak doesn't use these anymore. They have sold their F-59s to Metra, and now they use the Simons Charger. Well, Los Angeles has been getting a lot of chargers lately. They have been getting some Amtrak chargers, Metrolink chargers, Amtrak Surfliner chargers, and the San Diego Chargers. So the version I'm showing you is a Protosound 2.0 engine. When I got it, it was one of the best diesels in my collection. I bought it at the train show, and it comes with smoke, electrocouplers, ditch lights, great quality sounds. It was my best engine until I bought a Lionel Catty Heritage unit, which also comes with smoke, electrocouplers, ditch lights, and great quality sounds. So here's the engine, it's got the electrocouplers, the nice detailing, blah blah blah. I think there's supposed to be a snow plow here. All eight wheels are motorized. There's two pickup rollers on each truck. I also don't know if this is just my engine or not, but in conventional mode, the smoke works better than it would in DCS mode. So, the ditch lights flash whenever you blow the horn. The red lights turn on whenever it's going backwards. I don't know if this is just my train or not, but once I push this engine sound button with this remote, it won't turn the engine sounds back on. And I had so much trouble getting it back on, I had to use a different DCS controller to do so. So, uh, I don't think you should push this engine sound button at all. Why should they have a button that permanently turns the engine sounds off and only say engine sound? I mean, that's not right. I mean, I had no idea it was going to permanently turn the engine sounds off. That's like having a, a self-destruct button say push here for candy. That doesn't sound right. I have a total of five superliners, and uh, sometimes they do cause short circuits on the track. That could be because of the piece of metal is actually touching the center rail pickup roller. You're gonna have to move it a little bit to solve that problem. And tighten a screw. Overall, it's a really good train. The sounds are great, it runs great, I have a lot of fun with it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. When I bought it, I just got lucky and bought it at the train show with a sweet deal of $200.
Lucky me that day. Lucky me.